Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in Redondo Beach, California, yeah. at the pier. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, we just got back from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. Uh, remember my shirt? Check it out. So that was really fun. So today, we thought we'd just kind of chill near home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and go to the pier. A little bit seafood crawl here at the pier. Uh, right now, we are at Quality Seafood. We're getting our fried clams. We like our fried clams And here. we're going to go get a bucket of beer. A uh, bucket of beer, yep. That's right. And then uh, we're going to try, I know, People have been telling me that I've been pulling my Asian, they're gonna pull my Asian card because I don't eat the tamale from a crab. So we're gonna try that today. We? See. Yes. What are, you, what are you, French? We are going to try that today. Maybe my taste buds have changed. We'll try it out and see. Okay, yeah, okay. Right? We'll try I it. I think we'll try it out. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna wait for the, the stuff and we'll show what we get. Yeah. Getting a bucket of beers. Yeah, we're first chilling out with our bucket of beers. He's grabbing them right now. It's a perfect hawk day today. We're gonna start off by some fried clams. This big tray, they have a half size tray. They have a full tray. This full tray is $16 plus our bucket of beer, 16 bucks. Yes, uh, it says Corona, but that's just the, the bucket. Yeah, we right? actually got Estrellas. There we go. It's gonna go perfect with our fried clams. Yeah, we're gonna cheer right Let's now. Go. That's good. Tell you what, nothing beats some nice ice cold beer. You know how warm is it today? About 75, 77? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be, right now we're going through a heat wave, at least at the beach, it's about 77. Yeah, a perfect weather right now. Uh, yeah, perfect. It's, it's perfect. The only thing I need is to be watching a Dodger game right now. Yep. Not big. They ran out of tartar sauce cups, so we got some of these packets. There he is. These clams are, our fried clams are freshly fried. It takes about, what, 10 minutes or so to get? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really good. You know, try this now, so I mean, a little cocktail sauce first. Mmm, perfect fry. Yeah. Mmm, it's burning. Perfect. Yeah, we're, we're a big fan of fried clams. Especially um, when here. having some beer, yeah. Now here at Quality Seafood, they really fry their clam well. It's not chewy. Yeah. And you even still taste the clam. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of, you see a lot of breading, but there's not a lot of breading to it because you can taste the clam. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah, I love one of our favorites. We're doing pretty good. We're down to, oh, you're in the sun, right? I'm in the sun. Uh, I'll join you. We're down to the last beer. We're going to split it because there's five in the bucket. And I'm feeling the booze. I don't know if it's the sun, because I'm eating something. But I'm feeling it, baby. It feels good. I almost want to get my own. I don't want to split it. This, yeah, well, this is the dangerous part, How folks. many times do you want to get, how many, I can't even talk anymore. How many people want me to get my own? They want me to get my own. Nope, we're going to share it, babe. We got other places to go. We're done. We are. I don't know why I'm feeling it so much, but I'm feeling the booze today. Well, I don't know. It could be the two and a half bottles of beer. And we had but really no breakfast. But you don't feel anything, though? A little bit, but... Oh, really? No, I'm feeling it. I'm it surprised. Well. It feels like I'm in New Orleans, babe. Wow. wow. Let's go party. Right next to Quality Seafoods is their fresh fruit, fresh um, seafood area, which is their oysters, their crabs and lobsters, and they have clams, they have sea urchins around the corner and everything. Pretty much anything you want is going to be here. Yeah, and they will cook it for you. They here. will cook it for you, yes. Yeah. right next to where we had the beer and fried clams. It used to be a big arcade right here called Fun Factory. It's now closed, unfortunately. Uh, I think they went out of business. But yeah, it used to be right here. And it's very popular among locals. Not quite like Maui, but the waves here in Los Angeles do crash along. So we'll see if we can get a good set that will crash along the rocks. Yeah. 
This looks like a setup for a cooking competition. I'm not sure if it's for the Food Network or anything like that. But there's West Coast and there's all of this cooking stuff out here. That's their pantry right there. It has to be like a, probably one of those, what, Hell's Kitchen or, or one of those other cooking shows that are out here on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah so cool. in the future, if you see something that says West Coast like that, here it is from the uh, Redondo Beach Pier. Redondo Beach, yep, it's a great big area. So it's a great place to film. We are here at Pacific Fish, which yes. is toward the end of the uh, on the end of the pier. Mm -hmm. They do have fresh crab here, mm -hmm. and this, so this is, is where we're gonna try it. Yeah, we usually get like a hot fish uh, soup over here, mm -hmm. but I think we're just gonna try the crab and maybe a beer. I like their hot fish soup. It's right. a small one, so let's get the hot fish soup. There it is, live Dungeness crab. And this is it, the Korean spicy fish soup. But we usually get it mild. We got our beer, and this is Korea's number one beer. We don't know, we haven't been in South Korea yet, but it says it has to be good. Yes, yeah, so we so got our dips ready. Yep, and we're ready to eat. Oh, I'm happy with the kimchi. Okay. This soup is so good. We even think sometimes it's medicinal. It has fresh fish in there with a lot of veggies and tofu. We're going to stir it up a bit. Yeah, it is yeah. steaming it's too. It's steaming hot. And you can get it again. Have you seen this? The redder it gets, the more spicy it gets. This pot is really hot, so be sure not to touch it. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and spoon you some it. There's that fresh fish in there. Let's get that vegetables in there. They do have shrimpies in here, but the shrimps they don't have, really have a taste. It's really for the yeah, flavor they of do. the soup. Yeah. There we go. This is the pot. Yeah. It's, it's very tasty. Yeah. Hot. There you go, babe. Thanks, babe. Luckily, we're here on a Wednesday afternoon, so it's not crowded. As you can see, a lot of empty tables. But I guarantee you, on the weekend, this place is packed. In fact, we've come here on a weekend, and we have to wait for a table. So here we go. Here's some of this fish. It looks really good. Hopefully, Careful. it's not too hot. Oh, yeah. It is hot. Nice and meaty. The soup, the base that the vegetables and shrimp is in, it is a little bit red and a little bit spicy. And we even asked for it mild, so I don't. I could just imagine what it is if you have it regular, regular spiciness. It must be like through the roof. Of course, they give you some kimchi on the side. Here we go. And you got to have kimchi with hot rice. Oh, nice and cold, crispy, mm. it's perfect. This meal is especially good on a nice cold day here in Redondo Beach. But even if it's warm, it's still good. Again, I always think this soup is really medicinal because it really has fresh fish in there. It has the tofu, it has tons of veggies. Broth is very light. It's so good for you. It has a kick today mm -hmm. though, but be careful. Those veggies, oh, I've tasted those veggies. Those veggies are delicious. But flavors of broth is that fish. Flavors of broth plus all of these lovely vegetables in there. This is absolutely delicious. This is, we haven't come here in years. This is what I remember this place to be. The veggies really cap off this meal, plus a little bit of kimchi. I would say the soup is more spicy than the kimchi today.
Here it is. She breaks it open for us. And this is what you're going to try today. Finally, babe. The, Finally. The crab tamale. Yep, you know it. And, and there's a lot of crab tamale also in the crab. Yeah, so this is the Dungeness crab. Mm -hmm. And everyone really likes the tamale with rice. It is. So I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm going to have to try it out for everybody else. I'll, be, I'll take one for the team. Maybe your taste buds change. And maybe. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Now, this is the tamale. Everybody says it's like delicious. It's like the best part of the crab. It's a delicacy. It is. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my rice in there. Get those juices all sopped up in there. And you have to try this too, babe. Uh, that all depends on your reaction. Let's get that rice in there. It's hot. I'm a little scared, just so you know. <laughs> Let's try this out. Has that crab essence to it. I can understand why it's everybody's favorite. How's that? How's kind of like, I don't say it's tart. I think it's like a little sourness to it. I don't think that's why I'm not a fan of it. But it has delicious crab essence to it. It doesn't taste like liver because I don't like the irony taste of liver. So it doesn't taste like liver. I think it's the, it's the sourness I'm not used to. But I can understand why people love this. It has a great crab flavor to it. It's actually really good. Will I eat it again? Probably not because uh, I don't like that sourness to it. But I can understand why a lot of people like it. I mean, that's right there. That's the taste of the crab. Well, there you go. You got more rice, so uh, eat up, babe. Yeah. Your turn, babe. Okay. The uh, the crab innards with yep. rice. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Beer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll stick with this crab legs. Yeah. Uh, bitter. Yeah. Um, crab flavor. Bitter. Strong crab flavor, though. Yes, yeah, very strong. So I can just see why people like it because of that crab flavor. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure people love it, and they do. It's just not for me. Or you too, babe, right? Yeah, not for yeah, me either. I think we'll just stick with the crab meat and claws. So yeah, we will. Instead of claw crackers, they give you a wooden mallet. Here we go. Ooh. Can you get it out, babe? Ooh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got a little bit of uh, clarified fried butter right here. That's the crab I like. Not too much of that, of that body tamale, but the crab leg meat, that's where it's at for me. A little bit on the sweet side. I think the sweetest crabs I've had was in San Francisco, huh, babe? That's right, yep, mm -hmm. at the Fisherman's Wharf. Mm. This is really good. The pieces come out in chunks. Not too much of the shredding, like sometimes when the crab is overcooked. They come out and this is a little bit shredded only because it's near the knuckle, but it comes out in chunks. Mm. Delicious. And that one had a little bit of the crab tamale in it. And along with this and the butter, it's delicious. I'm wondering if I should add some butter into my crab tamale. I wonder if that'll heighten the flavor. You never know. Almost my last piece. One crack of the hammer. Oh yeah. Dip it into the butter. This is what they call a lop lollipop, maybe? Uh, crab lollipop? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Still, a lot of eating places are here and they're open and there's still places where you can pick your own oyster. Remember the little, the little pearl you get in the oyster? Here's one of them right here. Yeah, there's another uh, seafood restaurant right here mm -hmm. uh, as well as right behind you. Yeah. And the one we went to is over there where they're fixing the roof. And hot dog, hot dog, hot dog on a stick is still here. Yeah. It says Craig's now. I don't know why it says the name. Don't know, but but I know they still do the hot dog on the stick, and they still do the freshly squeezed lemonade, 
I, that's the best lemonade. Tell me in the comments if you like the hot dog on a stick lemonade. Oh, I do, yeah. Oh, yes. There it is right there. I know those are like the best pearls, right? You're gonna pick one? So I'm gonna pick one. <laughs> These are from Japan. She was just telling me. Salt These are from water. Japan, salt water. Okay. And there's 13 bucks. Let's see. 13.70. Which one do you want, babe? Whichever one. Let's see. Trust your instincts. An old one. Let's do this old one right here. Okay. Let's see what's in the oyster she picked. Good luck. Right here. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. That's a good size one. Usually it's one, but we always check. Because you never know. Because you never know. Things off the. the from the oyster, yeah, from the oyster stomach. Oh, very nice. That's a pretty one. Uh huh. Appraise your pearls. I'm gonna appraise it for you. So the pearl you got, it actually got appraised mm -hmm. for 74 bucks? Yep. 6.5 millimeter. I guess normally a pearls have some sort of inclusion on it, like a little spot of where the pearl started. Mine did not. Mine is completely, perfectly round. Yeah. And there's no inclusions on it. So she says if you went to a appraiser, if you went to a jewelry store, she, I mean, she's been doing this for years. We've seen her here for years. She says this is normally maybe like 74 bucks. Yeah, um, retail. Yeah. All together, including tax is 15 bucks yeah so i definitely come here these pearls oh, yeah. are from japan yeah and the thing is you never know what you're gonna get right? never know never so know. we're gonna end this vlog with the, with the gelato just right yeah. next door there's a little mm -hmm. gelato place and we got espresso i was getting his bite of oh, gelato you. your first baby mm. how's that one smooth coffee love it mm. yeah. i think they all have me done here it is um, right next to the pearl place. Mm -hmm. uh, right next to the, and there's also a churro place, but we thought this was a bit lighter. Yeah, as it was, well. it was. Mm -hmm. Try it out, babe. Okay, let me try it out. This is espresso. I don't know if I said that already. Eat it. It's espresso. Mm. Yeah, very creamy, very right? Good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you have any uh, shout outs, babe? I do. I was not prepared. Again, hold on one minute. Alrighty, Joe and Michelle Mendez, thank you so much for watching. Stephanie, happy birthday. April, happy birthday. And Shelly, happy birthday. And thank you for saying hi to us. The couple that we saw in Quality Seafood, actually the family. Yeah. We saw the husband and the father and um, the wife there. Thank you so much for saying hi, guys, at Quality yes. Seafood today. Yes, of course. Uh, like always, if you see us around, whether we're eating or not, just come up and say hi. Yeah, yeah we're really yeah. nice. Well, usually. <laughs> just kidding we are yes well that wraps up our our weekend uh yesterday um like we mentioned we went to uh new mexico albuquerque so if you missed that uh be sure to catch that vlog mm -hmm. he posted that we, we filmed it yesterday and he posted mm -hmm. it this morning that's right okay. this yeah. is a wednesday morning right and then uh i hope you like this uh tour of uh seafood tour yeah. of redonda beach Pier. it was delicious it was yeah perfect weather because right now again in the city there the more in inland you're going the more hot yes. here at the beach it's only like 77 degrees yeah it's so perfect it's a perfect weather perfect weather only if we work near the beach and we love it yeah. right baby that's right well okay well until our next adventure we'll catch you guys on the next one see ya